Hi guys, this is Paige at Comfort Books, and I'm going to do my first review um, for my YouTube channel. Because normally I, I just do... Sorry, I don't know, I just got so bright all of a sudden. Um, normally I just do book hauls and TBR piles and all that stuff. But right now I'm going to do a book review. So my first book review is going to be on Swoon by Nina Malkin. I just finished it maybe like an hour or two ago. And it was it was really good. I gave it a four out of five stars for reasons that I'm gonna tell you um, right now. I'm gonna try to make this spoiler free, but if I'm gonna say something spoilerly, I'll warn you so you can like pause it and like fast forward or stop watching or something. But anyway, um, so the book was about a girl named Candace who is from originally from New York, but she moves to Connecticut to I think I don't exactly know why she moves to Connecticut, but I know that she moves there because I just know that her cousins live there, so there's a reason for her to move there. So it's And she lives basically alone. Her parents come down every weekend, but both of her parents are very busy. Her dad is like an actor, and her mom is like a big magazine publisher or whatever, and so they have to be in the city 24-7 except for on the weekends. So she's alone all week except for the weekends, and so obviously they get into some trouble. Not bad trouble, but you know, they have some fun. Um, in Swoon, everybody has nicknames that have to do with shortening your name. So Candace's nickname is Dice. You can put that together. And her cousin Penny, her name is Pen. You can put that together. Um, and those two are inseparable. They're troublemakers. They're always together. Like, it was even a point in the book when Penny's mother is like, I think you guys need to not hang out so much because she's been getting in trouble lately and you guys just need to separate for a couple of days and... That was, I thought that was annoying because their family, they shouldn't be separated like that. But I guess I understand where she was coming from because they were getting into some trouble. But one day, Penn and, and um, Dice were near a tree together. And of course, Penn, being the crazy person that she is, decided she wanted to climb it. And although she was being careful, she fell. And she blacked out for, uh, I don't know how long, like maybe five, ten minutes. And they don't know what happened. Dice doesn't know. But... They find out later that a long, long time ago, a man named Sinclair Powers was hung there for the murder of his um, girlfriend. Now, he didn't do it, but obviously they don't have that good of evidence. You know, like, they don't have CSI and all that back back long time ago, so he was hung there. And when Penn fell, it was said that she died, like, for two seconds, and he entered their body. So it was like a possession type thing. This is the first part of the book. Um, yeah, it was, it was, that was, this is all in the first part, and she dies, I mean, not, she doesn't die, but she gets possessed, and so, while Sin is in her body, she starts doing all these bad things, she tries to drown someone, she tries to, um, I think she tries to run over someone, I can't remember exactly what she does, but I know she tries to drown someone, so then her cousin Dice realizes that she's not acting normal, and she has to get her cousin to stop, she has to get this this boy out of of Penn, but the problem is she doesn't know how. So she talks to the boy that's inside her. The, the, re, the way they talk to each other is they hold hands, and while they hold hands, if Sin's there, like if he's conscious in Penn's body, she can, Candace can see Penn. I mean Sin. Sorry, it's kind of confusing. Um, so they communicate, and Sin, knowing, he's kind of tricking her, knowing that she wants to get him out, but knowing that she's in love with him, so she know he knows that he, he, she's not going to hurt him. So anyway, he gives her the way to get him out, and instead of ac getting him out and freeing him and putting him back where he came from, she gives him his own body, and he's free to work th walk, walk the earth, you know, by himself, and he's not possessing anybody, it's just his own body. So that's all I can say, really, without giving you spoilers. Isn't that interesting? I thought it was interesting. Um, I like the characters a lot. Um, I have to say there was a love triangle between Penn, Sin, and Dice. And I was rooting for Dice and Sin the whole time. The reason being is because Dice and Sin met first. Now, he wasn't in Penn's body, so you'd think that'd be more of an attraction. But I, but during the time that he was in Penn's body, Penn wasn't there. It was Sin. which is So that's why it was him with Candace. And I, that's why I was rooting for them the whole time. Uh, maybe if it was the other way around, I would have been rooting for Penn, but it wasn't, so I was rooting for Dice. Um, 
there's some kind of things about the book that confuse me. Like in in like every like ten, every five ten chapters, there was this chat. There was one chapter related to a girl Ruby, and it would be so random that you'd get so confused because one thing would be happening. It would be like Sin left, and I went to bed that night, and then the next chapter would start in, and Ruby came and sat down on my bed and started talking to me. I'm just like, what? Who's Ruby? And woohoo! Like you got no background to know who Ruby was. You got nothing. I didn't tell you afterwards who Ruby was. I just finished the book and I still have no clue who Ruby was and what her point in the whole story was. I, I don't know if she was a ghost. I don't know if she was dreaming, if Dice was dreaming, because I, I had no clue. So I'm hoping that the second book will clear that up a little bit. I said the same thing in my written review, which we'll post. I'll leave the link to that down below in this, depending on when I post this. But that confused me. That's one of the things that made my rating come down a tad, because I that was annoying. Every couple chapters, it was this Ruby girl, and I had nothing. Like, it was random. If you guys read the book, you would know, because all these crazy things start happening, and you really don't know why, what, what it means, and you don't know who... You don't know if it's a dream, if it's actually happening, and that's annoying. So, hmm, what else can I say? There was other things, like, I really liked the other characters, um, Dice and Pen, their story wasn't the only thing that kept me from turning pages. There was their friend Marsh, um, her mom decided to leave her dad, because her dad's drunk and a crazy guy, and that kept me turning pages because I wanted to find out what happened, and some crazy things happened with her in the end, and I'm not going to tell you because that'd be a really big spoiler alert, but some crazy things happened, and you'll agree with me if you read it. There was other friends like, uh, Wick. And, but Penn's whole purpose, I mean not Penn, Sin's whole purpose was to come back and destroy Swoon because they destroyed him. Because the reason why he died and was hung was because they thought that he killed his girlfriend because he was the last person to be seen with her. But he didn't kill um, her, so they put him to death for no reason, but they didn't know that. And so he comes back and he's determined to kill, or not kill, but he's determined to destroy the lives of everybody that hurt him. So, like, Penn, that's why he took over Penn, because some, her distant relative was a part of his case. And then Wick, and then Marsh, there, he wanted to kill Marsh's dad, because his grandfather was the person who executed him. So, like, you know what I mean? He, he was trying to kill or hurt anybody. In the very beginning of the book, it show, it talks about his hanging, and it says, beware, tell your your family's family's family, or your siblings' siblings' siblings, or your daughter's daughter's daughters, to beware because I will be coming for them. And then you realize that's what he, that's what he's come for, when he when he re says that. So that was kind of creepy. And I'm and I'm not gonna tell you what happened, but obviously some crazy things did happen. And overall, it was a really good book. I enjoyed it, and I'm going to read the second book. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this review because it was my first one. So if it was kind of crazy and all over the place, you gotta. Bear with me because it's my first one and I don't really do these a lot and I'm hoping to do them a lot now when I get more used to them. Um, I'm going to give you a little update because I just finished Swoon. So, um, it said on my, in my, it's in my Monday, yeah, in my, it's Monday, what are you reading post? I, t I said that I was going to read the statistical probability of love at first sight next, but of course I jinxed myself because a book came in the mail from an ARC tour and I just have to read that because I only have a week to read it. So instead of reading what I was going to read before, I'm now going to be reading, I'm going to start this as soon as the video is over, Survive by Alex Morrell. So this is just the next book I'll probably do a video review on. Um, I'll probably do it right after I'm done reading before I even write my written one because I have to send it back. So I'll do it when I still have the book so I can show you the book to review it with. Because I, I, I get bored sometimes if I can't see a book or a visual. That's why I had this with me so you guys could see what I'm talking about. I like this cover too. Some people, oh, one more thing, some people were upset because they, this book was a lot darker than they thought it was going to be, because the title is Swoon, so you think, oh, romance, 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 but it wasn't that romance direct. If you look at the type of the cover, you can see it's really spooky, and it's meant to be spooky, and that's what I liked about it. So, that is the end of my review. I hope you guys enjoyed my first video review. It was kind of long, but, you know, I was rambling because it's my first, and I'm not. But anyway, if you guys want to see more reviews like this, let me know, and I'll do more. I'll probably do more anyway, but if you like them, let me know. Leave me comments if you read the book, and tips to help me do reviews in the future. Thanks for watching. Bye.